the body of a report would be dependent on the topic area that you are writing about. So, for example, if it's a research report, it will have usually a literature review, methodology section, data analysis, data discussion, etc. However, if your report is about certain areas, if you were asked to do a business model proposition, or if you were asked to develop a business model canvas, a Gantt chart, or anything else, those could be the body of, this, of your report as well. So ultimately, the body will be quite uh, dependent on the subject area you're focusing on. But ultimately, the things that you're focusing on here are the opportunities for you to show evidence of your reading of the subject area. So most of your body uh, uh, sections will include citations of references. So make sure that you have cited external sources before you get to primary data as well. And ultimately, in the discussion chapter, you would usually be comparing your literature to your uh, uh, primary data and comparing and contrasting and seeing whether the literature agrees with the things that you have found yourself and then obviously how you draw those conclusions as well. The body section will be uh, potentially a chapter or it could be several chapters and so it really depends on the subject area you're focusing on but it is really important for you to read the requirements of the report or think about the report that you're focusing on. If you are struggling for the structure you can go for the traditional literature, methodology and uh, data and data analysis. So in the literature section, you would just see every single thing that you found in the literature related to the work you're doing. The methodology will be focusing on the things that you were considering when you were collecting data or thinking about collecting primary data. In the data analysis, you will be just looking at your data analysis and what it is that you have found. So for example, if you did an interview or if you did some survey uh, work, you will describe what it is that you have done. And ultimately, in the discussion, you can compare the survey results with the literature and compare and contrast whether there are similarities or whether there are differences. The literature review is really important because usually that dictates the questions that you would be asking in your interviews and in your surveys. So if it isn't clear why you are asking a question to yourself, chances are you either need to revisit the literature or you need to make sure that the question is not asked at all. Because if you have some data that you have collected but no literature or vice versa, yeah, literature and no data, it's very difficult for you to compare and contrast and make a discussion of that work. Obviously there are some exceptional circumstances where th that information might not be available as well.